Hey there, and welcome. My name is Courtney, and I'm a flow expert here at HeyFlow. Today, I'm going to show you how you can easily create an interactive flow to increase your lead generation and conversion. I will start by showing you how to build a flow, and then we'll take a look at an example flow and best practices. I will then take you through our comprehensive design options to match your flows perfectly to your brand. We'll finish off with a look at the ways you can collect and use the information gathered in your flows with our integrations, as well as the built-in analytics that can help you measure and optimize your flows. Throughout this video, we will link to help articles and videos so that you can learn even more about the HeyFlow app. Let's get started. HeyFlow is a no-code tool which means that users from all departments are able to create and design engaging and effective flows to increase lead generation and conversion. Here, you can see what HeyFlow looks like when creating and editing a flow. There are two important tabs for building flows, Block and Edit. On the left-hand side, you can see our wide range of building block. On the right-hand side, you can see a live preview of your flow screen. To start, simply drag and drop the block you would like to have featured on your flow into the editing panel. In our text block, you can enter in your own text and then apply further changes by simply selecting the text and setting up your headline and color options. There's more information on design options later to help match your flows to your brand design. In each block, you have the option to set the visibility of the block on the different screen sizes under the appearance tab. You will immediately see the difference in the live preview as we can switch between the user device view of laptop or mobile phone. Furthermore, you can even test your flow by clicking through it. The purpose of input blocks is to receive data from users. Our most popular input block is our picture choice as it's interactive and visually stimulating way to encourage users to click through your flow. You can provide users with multiple options or even delete options. On top of this, you can insert different icons from our library or upload your own photos. If you would rather use a different block, simply right click on the building block, delete it, or if you want to use it again on another screen or flow, simply copy it. We offer a wide range of input blocks for you to use, such as multiple choice, input fields, range slider, upload, or even a predefined form which saves you time as you don't have to build it yourself. We have different buttons available in our app, such as the next button, a submit button, which is used to collect data and a back button. All of these buttons can be customized during the design phase. Again, we can add our next button simply by using the drag and drop feature. Although on this particular screen, we don't really need this button since we can set up a link mode in our picture choice. This is done by enabling the conditional logic in the block. The user is sent directly to the next screen, which means fewer clicks for the user and a higher conversion rate for you. Also, conditional logic allows you to react to the user's input and send them to different screens and show only what is relevant to them. This is a great way to pre-qualify your leads and applicants. In addition, we provide various display blocks, which are a great source of support when building a standalone landing page, for example. Our list elements helps you to provide additional information or benefits to your users. Also, with our steps block, you can provide transparency about the process of your flow or next steps. Our image and video block enables brand awareness and, last but not least, a great trust element is our logo block. All these blocks help you to increase lead conversion through brand and USP visibility. After creating your first screen, the next step is to move on to the next screen. On the right hand side, you can see all the screens in your flow and your master screens, such as the header and footer. You can use these to insert, for example, your logo and avatar or your imprint and contact details. This creates user trust which is extremely important for the effectiveness of your flow. You can move your screens around per drag and drop and even duplicate or delete them via right click. By clicking on the screen name, you can edit it 
which gives you a better overview in your analytics regarding drop-off rate. Now we can see here the landing page of my sample flow, where I want to show you more best practices and give you additional tips and tricks. Here, we can find numerous display blocks to introduce the product or company and bring benefits to the forefront. Make sure to include multiple call to action buttons so that the user can click on them at any time. Based on our expertise and the experience of our customers, we suggest using three to five easy questions. For this, you can use our link mode and mostly ask single choice questions. This makes it easy for users to click through and complete your flow. After you have asked your questions, but before you ask for their personal information via a form, we recommend that you use our loader. This has a positive psychological effect on the user as it gives them the feeling that a calculation is happening while the loader is loading. Once done, you can go on to say that they are eligible for your product or a good fit for the company, which encourages them to enter their personal information in the provided form. Data protection is very important to us. Besides being GDPR compliant, we have also developed a sensitive feature so users' personal data is not stored on our servers but is only sent to you. You can set this up for all input blocks. You can also personalize your flow by using variables so you can include the user's name in follow-up questions or on consecutive screens. Under the tab System, you can change the system label, which is the question later in your responses and a variable that you can then use on the following screens in a text block by inserting the at symbol. Let's have a look at how the user would see it afterwards. However, make sure that the input is set to required when using variables. You have built your flow and now want to match it to your corporate identity? At Heyflow, we want you to completely match your brand design. With this in mind, we created our design section. You can already see all our building blocks again. When clicking on, for example, our picture choice, you can see different preset designs for your inspiration or use. Our design is global so that you only need to change it once and it updates all corresponding blocks in your flow. If you would like to individualize your flow even more, you can. When clicking on the preset designs, you can now change even more design variables. You may need to change from our essential mode to expert mode, which is available in our pro and business plan. This allows you to change the design of, for example, the corner radius, what the block should look like when users hover over it, and what it should look like when it's active, and much, much more. Test it yourself. Now your flow is built and designed, but how can you use it? First, we take a look at how you can get the data from your flow. Under Integrate, you can find our response handlers and current integrations, such as Mail, HubSpot, Google Sheets, and many more. Alternatively, you can always use our Zapier app or a webhook as a way to send your data directly to a URL endpoint. You can also send automatic replies to your leads via our reply feature. Cookies can be important. So in the app, you have the option to add our HeyFlow cookie consent with one click. In addition, you can analyze and track user behavior in order to improve the performance of the flow. We also offer native integrations such as Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, or Facebook Pixel and Conversions API. As you can see, we're always implementing new integrations. One last question remaining is, how will users find your flow? There are multiple ways for you to use your flow, either as a standalone or embedded. When you want to use it on your website, simply set up your embedding and paste this code to your website. Most of our users connect their flow as a standalone and you can either use it with our heyflow.id URL or connect it directly to your domain or subdomain here. You simply need to change the CNAME in your DNS settings and we automatically provide a security certificate for you. We here at Heyflow know how important analytics are. And for this reason, we even have our own built-in analytics dashboard for you. Here you can see the most important KPIs of your flow in an easy to understand layout. Flow optimization made easy. Thank you for your time and please let us know if you have any questions. Happy building.